Good morning, everybody. Today we are in western Utah's Confusion Range. I found this, uh, this area while I was looking around on Google Earth. Kind of noticed this rock outcrop. So we decided to come up here. We were able to get a fantastic campsite right down there last night. It was kind of windy, though. There was a nice break from the wind along this, this area of rocks that we camped by. Yeah, this area is pretty unique. There's not a whole lot of this kind of stuff around. It seems to be just this little outcrop in this area. And this area is called the horse pasture. So we're going to hike up this little hill up in that direction. There's a really cool canyon over on the other side and some really nice views of the Confusion Range and Fossil Mountain. So it is just an outstanding day. Got kind of cold last night, rained a little bit. And when I woke up this morning, there was snow on all of these uh, high areas around here, but it has since melted since the sun came up. I have pictures of it though. I'll uh, put a couple of those up to uh, show you what it looked like. It was really quite beautiful this morning. This area has a lot of really, really interesting rock formations. All these white rocks eroded in some pretty interesting shapes. So we made it to the top of this hill right behind where we camped last night. And we've been hanging out here for a while and it has turned into a really nice day. It's kind of cool, a little bit of a cool wind blowing from the south, but it's just a breeze. Yesterday was really windy when we got up here, really dusty too. But it's turned out to be a beautiful day. This is the canyon right here. Next time I'm in the area, I'm going to do a walk up that. But it's a really nice, really nice rock formation. I didn't quite expect to see something like this. I found this on Google Earth one day when I was looking at imagery from this area. And it's kind of always had me curious. So this was a good time to come out here and check it out. I really like days like this where you get all these nice white puffy clouds in the sky. They make all these really nice shadows across the valley. So that's the road that we took to get out to this area here. These are all primitive camping sites. Some of them have fire pits, some of them don't. But you've got a lot of choices out here along these rocks. And if you do come out here, to do something like we're going to do this afternoon, which is go to Fossil Mountain, this is a great spot to camp. I haven't seen anybody out here since I left the highway yesterday. 
And this canyon is really, really nice. Some really cool rock formations. A lot of wind caves along here and areas like this that have been carved out from lots of wind over the years. This is Fossil Mountain, and this is across the valley from where we camped last night. This is the big pointy mountain that you saw in the backdrop of a bunch of the shots and the time lapses from over, from over on the other side of the valley that I took this morning. But this little canyon runs to the north of Fossil Peak, and we're going to hike up here a little ways, check it out. Now, I neglected to do too much research on exactly where to find the fossils, but I suspect it's this kind of blue-green band of shaley material that we're about to get to. This is about as far up as the road goes. It has turned out to be an outstanding day. It's nice and cool, a little bit of a breeze, but really not as hot as it could be. Well, we hit pay dirt. Lots of fossils. I don't know if you can see that. And I can see there's these shells. There is a lot to look through here. I'm gonna spend some time doing it. So, the fossil hunting here is quite good. I'll just uh, try to focus in as much as this GoPro will. And you can see all the little shells. Just a ton of this stuff up here. A lot of it laying here on the rock. This whole band up here is just encrusted with seashells. See all of these just everywhere in here. Huh, cool place. If you want some, uh, want some nice fossils of seashells, this is the place to come. There's supposed to be trolobites and a few other types of uh, fossils to be found in this uh, layer around here, but uh, it seems to be dominantly seashells at this point. Still really cool though. And of course, this is a beautiful setting. A 
Uh, Doug's chasing a lizard. It's the first one he's ever really seen. Those lizards are pretty fast. Be surprised if he actually was able to catch one. So I found a few specimens I like that I think I'm gonna hang on to. Take them back down to the car. Yeah, it was pretty good hunting here. But I'm gonna run this stuff down to the car and then uh, we're gonna hike back up this canyon a little ways. Take a look and see what's up there a little farther. Looks really nice out. Well, we picked the right day for a hike. It is gorgeous out here. All those puffy little white clouds we had earlier disappeared. It's just been replaced by blue open sky. Enough of a breeze though to keep things nice and mild, so it's not too hot, which is kind of nice. Looks like we're in another one of those areas of that same shale formation that contains all the fossils. Yeah, they are all over in here. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Well, we're gonna keep going up the canyon. So one thing I've noticed is the wildflowers are just about to come out. These guys here actually are, uh, I was kind of surprised to see these guys as in full bloom as they are. There's been a lot of others. We've seen cactus and several other uh, plants that uh, have buds on them, but they just haven't quite started to open up. I think it's been just slightly too cold for them, which it would have been last night. After the rainstorm came through, everything on the windshield and table, all that uh, raindrops ended up freezing. So uh, yeah, it's been kind of a cool beginning for the season here because it's the middle of May and eh, usually it's a little bit warmer than it has been, but, but I'm not complaining. Cool breeze feels nice because it's pretty much full sunshine. It's real dry out here. Well, we're getting some elevation. It's kind of opening up into this little valley and it appears that there is a fork right up ahead here. We're gonna definitely head over to this pass, maybe a little ways up here, but I'm not sure yet. But this is an outstanding place to come and hike. There's no trail, just kind of a choose your own adventure route finding, but you know, a lot of times that's the best stuff. Well, we are definitely gaining some elevation. Most of the clouds have gone away. It's just been really nice out. Huge sandy area over there. We came up on this side because it's more rocky, a bit easier to negotiate than the sand. We have been making our way up this little drainage here and we started coming up this slope. And as we've come over this shoulder, there's this little side canyon here, it goes up in that direction. We're going to uh, skirt along the slope and drop into it. And that should take us up to the saddle between this peak and Fossil Mountain. We're heading up for that saddle, and that'll enable us to look over on the other side. Should be really nice. Wow, quite a scene. That big mountain in the distance, that's San Francisco Peak. Those mountains with the snow on it are the Tusher Mountains. 
And I'm not exactly sure what the name are of some of these other mountains, but um, I'll make sure I look, look it up and put the names of what we're looking at in this video so uh, you'll know what they are. Absolutely spectacular up here though. We're going to continue working our way up this ridge line here and I'll see how we're feeling, but uh, I think that is the peak of Fossil Mountain. So we're going to see if we can make our way up there. We got up the last piece of capstone or level of capstone, but it was kind of tough. I had to climb up this little chute and the dogs can't get up it. So I'm going to leave these two here. There's the peak. So I'm going to run up there and snap some pictures. All right, we are almost to the top of Fossil Mountain. I'm guessing the view is going to be pretty nice. Yes. Very nice. Up there, the big peak in the distance is Swayze Peak. The next one is Notch Peak. That's the house range. The highest peak you can see over here, it's called King's Top. That's the highest one in the Confusion Range. And then this little valley between the uh, Confusion Range and the valley over to the right. That's where we came up yesterday. That is the horse pasture or the horse pasture area that we're looking at. And that's where we went hiking this morning. The big dry lake you see out in the distance is severe dry lake. And that's pretty much, it fills this whole valley in here. Stretches all the way down here below San Francisco Peak. So we'll pan around this way. That is Wheeler Peak and Great Basin National Park in the Snake Range. And all of these mountains right before it are of course the Confusion Range. And then in between this gap way up there, that other snowcap peak is Mount Moriah. So we were fortunate, we had a real nice day out here. It was windy yesterday, but blew away a lot of the haze. There was a lot of dust. And that allowed us to see so much from up here. So we are back down here at the saddle. I was going to stay up there longer, but the dogs couldn't make it up there. And where I left them, they were getting unhappy, so I could hear Doug barking. So I figured, Al, I better get back down there. So we made it back down to the saddle, just watered these guys, and we are going to head down the canyon and back to the truck where we have a third dog eagerly awaiting us, I'm sure. But this is an outstanding hike. I would highly recommend coming out here and doing this, especially on a day like today. Absolutely beautiful out. So we're gonna head back down to the truck and go uh, find ourselves a campsite for the night. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. And you can join us for future adventures. So we'll see you guys next time.